All right, we have another too many smoothies game, and we're starting it off right away with a Smurf Y. Why was he a Smurf? Because he shot his eagle with the TC. Never ever in the history of Age of Empires has that been seen before. Did run it right into that TC as well. No, I am not a Smurf. Yes, you are a Smurf. Just want to make sure that this is recording. We are recording very nice. Uh, this is kind of a thing that <laughs> too many smoothies does is he claims that everybody is a smurf regardless of whether or not they are and then what he does is he loves to simply fast castle no military will be produced in a few at least from the games that i have seen doesn't like to go for aggression he likes to sit back he likes to relax and he likes to build up his army at home also interesting walls here uh, kind of funny uh, but we are going to speed this up. A, a lot of these too many smoothie games are not going to make it to YouTube. I am just going to cast them if, as if they are fresh and... Hi! <laughs> oh man, I would love for Gervetto, uh 10 to just say 11 in this situation. Uh, Gervetto 10 playing as Aztecs. There was a whole series of still a smurf. You're still, you know, you might have lost your uh, eagle as well to my TC, but you, sir, you are a smirk. Uh, I've seen a whole bunch of games today, and I think maybe only one or two, maybe three, uh, will make it to YouTube. Let's hope that this is one of them. And the reason that not that many make it is because it's, you see, you reach feudal, Two seconds. Oh my gosh. I can't even. I can't, can't even say this with a straight face anymore. You are the Smurf. Nemo, there are some uh, militia coming forward. Oh, did run into a lion over there. Why are you always lying? What? You lying. Stop lying. And it looks like these militia oh, men at arms, I should say, are going to try and break. Through over here. Is there a hole there? Oh. <laughs> oh, you can see that I'm kind of getting silly at this point because I've watched so many, too many smoothie games and I can already tell you what the reaction is going to be here. How did you get in? Oh, he does realize now. He does realize that there is indeed a hole, but that's not going to matter too much because there is some damage going to be found here. Too many movies is like, ah. and that's quite unfortunate for him. <laughs> There's this whole series of uh, too many movies playing Aztecs against different kinds of opponents. I saw him playing against Celts. It was disastrous. I saw him playing against, uh, I don't know, like Britons, uh, against Lithuanians, against a whole variety. And he, he kept playing Aztecs. I wonder why. He, oh, and he lost that mining camp too. That's 100 wood down the drain. Is he going to clear out these men at arms? No, they are just going to run away for the time being. Just being super duper annoying. And pull them away, pull them away, pull them away. Very nice. Uh, one did go down there. A skirmisher comes out. This will eventually get cleared up, but it's super annoying. Oh, look at this micro. And just fights it anyway. And does find a villager, so that's great value right there already. And is just gonna throw that man at arm away as well. Is there a follow up in any aggression? Now, it's not normal for too many movies to go forward, but maybe he's changed up his playstyle in this particular game. Score also quite close, even after losing that villager. At this elo, it is very common to forget to produce a villager or not be producing from your TC for just a little bit. Let's check out Blue's base at this point. It does look like he is double archery ranging. Did see that too many movies at skirms. I wonder if he's going to be a little bit hesitant to send forward archers. Uh, a lot of time at this elo, 1100 elo that is, oh, definitely want to collect those sheep. That's a little sloppy there. want to send those 
into your base for sure. That's farms that you can produce later. To make smoothies is house as well. Blacksmith, yeah, looking like a fast castle at this point from blue. Let's see how the resources are. Wow, that was a very far ostrich trip. These people went all the way to Australia just to get that food. Look at that low extra carrying capacity. That is nice, I will say. I think four is the perfect number. Okay, but I guess for Aztecs, since they carry a little bit more food, I think maybe three might be the perfect number. That is an interesting consideration to make for sure. Uh, interesting wall. Uh, I don't think this is fully scouted by... Yeah, so if he had fully scouted this... I mean, you should actually know. You're like so close to the edge. You could just wall this way, and I think that's a lot better. It gives you a lot more space back here, but you know... And it's a shorter wall, that's mostly why. But you do you, boo. It does look like too many movies is building up the archer numbers. Now, another thing that I've noticed from too many movies is that he does not get the uh, blacksmith upgrades very frequently. That is definitely something that you want to keep in mind, is getting those blacksmith upgrades. And no way! He is pushing forward. It's like, enough is enough with all of these smurfs. I'm going to forward, I'm going to make some damage happen. People don't just get to damage me and oh, his opponent is castle way, way, way earlier than uh, Too Many Smoothies is. Too Many Smoothies is not even close, but if you can do some damage with these archers, could definitely uh, balance out. Although archers are now being produced in these two ranges, uh, home field advantage. Not many places that these archers can get through, sadly. Uh, maybe go over here, see if you can... It doesn't know quite if that is walled or not. It's getting walled just now. A total of 11 archers at this point. And once he sees that his opponent goes... Uh, oh, and yes, skirms being built in these ranges as well. Getting the defense upgrade, that's going to make a big difference. And these... Archers do not even have fletching. Market being built behind. Nice market wall and probably a house over here. Yep. Call it. Just don't want those archers to get in before you are castle and before you can get the upgrade. Getting fletching once again. Uh, oh, this movie is getting fletching himself as well. And Geppetto 10 doing some very nice defense. And this is probably enough to hold against this at this time. Should probably finish that market unless he already has a market. No, he does not have another market. So he definitely should uh, stop that. And now that you realize your opponent is castle, you should immediately retreat. There's no reason yet. Crossbow coming in, and elite skirm should be coming in soon. And let's see if there's gonna be a Smurfy. Smurfy. No, Smurfy is being called. Oh, but that is definitely painful to watch. Even just six skirms can absolutely devastate this. I think you keep engaging, honestly, because you're doing that bonus damage against them. No villagers being produced, though. That is smurf. One bajillion percent. I'm just going to say bajillion because who knows how many zeros that is. One bajillion percent smurf. And meanwhile, there are crossbows heading out across the map. Looking to do some damage. Uh, there's no forward wood lines. Uh, wood line is nice and safe, walled in completely. So not much damage that they can find. Uh, only 25% of the way up. These crossbows could definitely get in. These definitely could do some damage. Plus two attack. I might always get the attack before getting the defense upgrades. Uh, the reason for that is you don't want units to get in close to begin with. Um, and it gives you additional range in addition to attack. So the attack upgrade is just so much better than the defense upgrade, at least for skirmishers and crossbows. Whereas the defense upgrade, you want your units to get in close, uh, is much better for scouts. Uh, for... Um, sorry, losing my train of thought here. For military Smurfy, Smurfy. 
I do have some good old Smurfies, but that is a lot of regular archers, and there's only six crossbowmen here. Uh, definitely should be producing way more military glue in order to make this happen. I think for infantry you also want to go... Oh, <laughs> one militia was accidentally produced by too many smoothies. Uh, for infantry, as we're looking at this wonderful militia swinging his club back and forth, you probably also want to go for uh, the defense upgrade first, at least if you're against archers. Uh, and, you know, the attack upgrades are, 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 are fine, uh, but if you are against range units, definitely want to get those uh, defense upgrades first. Uh, for example, if you're playing Goths and you have a whole bunch of plus girls. That is a lot of crossbow now, but those crossbow only have plus one attack, so they should be outranged, and these skirmishers are doing work. I'm never opposed to building a siege workshop in this situation, uh, especially if you're too many smoothies. You know this army is right here. Uh, you have 200 wood. You easily have the gold to pump out a mangonel and afford that. Uh, but instead he's going for the greedy approach in which he is building two TCs to try. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. I think Gebetto 10 made the right play. He knows that his opponent has tons and tons of archers here. And if you get one or two good Mangonel shots, this is wiped and the game is yours. I, I actually kind of want to see too many smoothies reaction. And look how close this is. It's pretty close. So... The whole smurf argument I don't think in this particular game holds up, uh, although it looks like Too Many Smoothies has 5 villagers queued from 1 TC, definitely want to spread that out a little bit more, yeah there you go, and there's going to be a mangonel at some point for sure, yeah 50% of the way, and that's probably going to just absolutely decimate this over here. Just wait for the mango. Don't let him. Don't let him know. Okay, is engaging. I think I would have just tried to go for a surprise there. Uh, these skirms are getting decimated themselves, but here comes the mango. Seven range. Goes for an attack round. And if you can get one big hit, this could be over right here, right now. Going for another mango. I think if you're too many smoothies, you definitely need mangoes of your own. Uh, rather than continually producing crossbows because one or two big hits and this game is a loss for you and you are actually ahead at this time. Trying to take out that production building, not a bad choice. Uh, but I did kind of, I don't know, if it was me, I would have just snuck up that magnet. And oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Realize, realize, realize. Oh, that's one dead mango. Come on, you have another one. You haven't, oh no, 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 yes, 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 Wow, nice splits. Another mango down. So many smoothies must be feeling pretty good about himself at this point. A blue having to retreat to this hill. How many TCs are over here? One TC push only. Okay, so many smoothies could be, oh no, I missed it. Oh man. Eagles to counter the mangonels. Okay, that could work. Especially if you have superior uh, crossbow numbers there. And are we going to get some more big shots here? No, that one is going to completely fail and miss. And... What is up with that? <laughs> oh. Let me tell you how you drush, okay? This is how you drush. Um, there was a game in which, uh, which is probably going to make it to you, ooh, probably going to make it to YouTube in which too many movies called somebody a smurf and a bad drusher at the same time, so he's showing everybody how it is done, how one shall drush. And now building a siege workshop himself, but that's quite forward, definitely target these archers, come on. Oh, that was a bad, that was a bad shot. Ooh, not quite getting the value there that he was hoping for. Gonna be building some Magnos himself. Gotta repair, where are the repair villagers? Definitely would love to see some repair villagers come forward for blue. Also, this is so all in from him. He doesn't have uh, 
many TCs behind us. Can that? Nope. Uh, now there's a second TC. Okay. Uh, and a third TC. And maybe there was a TC before already and I missed it. I'm a pro caster, what can I say? Mangano's now coming out from too many smoothies, and we're definitely gonna see some 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 big Mangano shots here. As this mango is not gonna get any value. Uh, some crust was getting picked off there. Keeping the hill and ooh, missing that. Ooh! Absolutely devastating. Absolute devastation. I do think the Eagles are actually a good idea to try and snipe your opponent's mangoes. And ooh, gets a, another one. Wow, two for one trade on that mango. That kind of makes up for losing all of those crossbows in a big bada boom ski. Buh. I don't know, I'm just making sound effects at this point in time. Woo 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 woo. Hype train. And this is actually a close game. This is actually a good game. Like, it, it, it's funny that every once in a while, Too Many Movies just says, Smurfy. Smurfy. I wonder if we're going to see that again as this Mangano is being brought back home. If he just wants to defend at home at this point. Castle coming forwards. Uh, I don't know if that castle really protects anything at this point. Also, it might be a good idea to, yeah, try and take, like, a TC here would be very good. You know, you can even build a gate there and do it like that. Or you can just delete the wall and build a TC there and then wall behind or something of that nature. But uh, definitely going to be running out of gold pretty soon. Also, it looks like at some point we are going to be going imp, uh, especially if you look at blue's resources. Uh, let's see how Two Minutes Movie is in resources. Yeah, he could go in as well pretty soon if he so chose. Actually, if he cancels this one villager that's being produced, he would actually be in. Sarah on gold, that's what I was talking about before. Yeah, he's completely mined out over here and he definitely needs to take these. And I think a TC right here would be beautiful. You could touch both the golds, you could have very efficient mining, and then you can also add those two additional mining camps get even more efficiency going. This archer range is going to go down. Let's look at the uh, upgrades. Okay, they get all of his upgrades. Okay, not too bad. Another siege workshop was built over here and both players to in around the same time. We have an actual game on our hands and that deserves a little clappage. I'm just very happy because I've had several games that were just like, meh. Let's see what the upgrades are on these Eagles. No upgrades on these Eagle Scouts. Uh, definitely not going to add anything to the mix here. And Monks, also not the best. Probably just wants to get the relics with them. Uh, and I don't disagree with that. I think that's a good idea to do. Another castle. Like, that's such a close castle. Like, I think this first castle should have gone on this hill if that's what we want to do. And then I think the second castle, if you go, say, over on this hill is quite nice. Gives you quite an outlet. And yeah, um, not the most efficient mining over here. I think a TC is just so nice in that spot. Come on, too many smoothies, do it for me. And we have rams being produced from too many smoothies. Uh, Rams can definitely soak up a lot of arrow fire. Not a bad play at all. Elite Skirm coming in for Blue Castle. Why is Castle here? Why not on this hill? I like that a little bit more, I think. Uh, once take this forward gold, could. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Could put a TC down there, but who cares? Maybe they don't want to be farming on the front anyway. Uh, Lumber Camp over here, okay. Bit hilly for both of them. And, oh, this monk is all the way over here. I don't know why that monk was sitting over here, but he's gonna get joined down now. Okay. Gout. Gout. Oh man, got him! Uh, of course, still relatively close. Uh, one, one big engagement could definitely decide the outcome of this battle. Uh, good that Blue is immediately getting his upgrades. Doesn't look like too many smoothies is 
getting his upgrades quite yet for his archers. Definitely should though. And I don't think they can see each other's armies, which is always quite funny to me. They're so close to each other, they're just having like a Mexican standoff over here. What you got over here. Now Arb is coming in for too many smoothies. Actually would have been nice if Blue kept his monk here and healed these weak Arbs. Uh, same for too many smoothies. Just building one monk and healing up their army is quite nice. Uh, I wonder if that's what actually the plan is over here or if this monk is going to be getting relics. I have noticed this as well. Tumini's movies likes using eagles as kind of a, a way to figure out where his opponent is and he likes to use eagles to scout for those relics. Uh, mining camp over here as well. Okay. Okay, la. And does Blue know that Tumini's movies over here? No, it's not. Are we going to get a big ink? Ah, it was for relics, not for healings. I think one for relics, one for healings would be nice. Come on, learn from healing to Tonic Fortress. 11 months is all you need to do these movies. And skirmishers coming in uh, are going to be met with some arbs. Uh, it's going to be a difficult engage for these movies. There are 8 arbs here, and let's see. Looks like 27 arbs, whereas. He has three so he does have the advantage in the ARB numbers, but the scrims could be worked, but you definitely want to engage with both. Ooh! Using... <laughs> using those trips and those trips, but getting ARB instead. Ooh! Not really any damage to be done there. And it looks like too many movies did come slightly ahead in there. Uh, although... Yeah, a little bit tough to say. Looks like... You should repair these, yeah, and he is going to protect those with those arbs. You'd rather have those arbs get hit than his mangonel, sorry, his uh, tributaries, understandably so. And now we're in a treb war, and it looks like too many movies is definitely uh, in a good position, especially if he is going to bring rams in front of them. Also, there's really no reason when you have 32 arbs to be afraid of mangonels. They have 7 range, whereas you have 8 range, you can probably kill them before you can even get a shot off. Uh, and I think Tumini's movies is... Oh, he has, he has all of the range upgrades. Definitely could use a chemistry, though. Oh, he does. He does have chemistry, okay. Eagles, not going to do very much. And... You don't want to trickle, you don't want to trickle your units, you want to have them in one big blob, especially if you have archers, siege ram, now, or sorry, capped ram, now coming in, more archer rangers being produced in front, and it is looking slightly in too many movies advantage, wow, that's a lot of trebuchets, six trebs, I could absolutely wreck any building in no time. And it's down. I was a little quick on that. It's down. And can we reach anything else at mining camp? That mining camp is going down as well. Have fun taking that goal now. You're gonna walk all the way to this TC. Oh and he builds another mining camp that's immediately going to get Treb down as well. Wow, a lot of trebuchets, but not a lot protecting them. A uh, little raid over here, clearing up that stone. Okay. And where is the main blob of Blue's army? Over here. Okay. Interesting. Looks like too many movies might actually win this game. Is this a game in which too many movies stops calling people? Smurfs. He's gonna get that mining camp, and yeah, this is this is not good. Uh, a lot of trips could go lost here. Those eagles don't have. Oh, they do have upgrades now. Okay. Blue is taking into eagles. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like um, to make some movies also taking into eagles, and <laughs> Blue keeps rebuilding mining camps here. <laughs> He's gonna like. Two or three times now at this point. <laughs> Too many movies just have these trubs here. 
for whenever my income does go up again, which is kind of hilarious. I guess it's a quicker drop off point, you know. We don't care if it's gonna go down, it's just wood. We have gold in our hands. Capped Ram coming forward, gonna try and soak up some of that arrow fire, but that doesn't really help if you send your ARPs in front of the arrow fire. And let's see. We have. Um, sorry. We have Elite Eagle Warrior coming in. Uh, and it's already elite from Maze Movies, but I think there's more upgrades on the. Yeah. Plus 6, plus 2. Whereas, let's find one of Smoothies. I cannot see any of his eagles. Oh, man. Are there going to be raids, raids, raids? Uh, lion fighting over here. Doesn't look like there's very many raids going on. You definitely want to get that last defense upgrade as these eagles are getting absolutely shredded. Uh, let's see what the uh, upgrades are on these eagles over here. Yeah, no attack upgrades, so in melee combat they are going to be definitely worse. And the rams are now coming this way. But blue looks like he has a bigger ball of army, at least in one spot. This might be a long game. Not really what I was anticipating, but hey, I am not complaining. This is actually a good game. And those mangonels you got, got up them to uh, honor at this point if you want them to remain effective. I think some surrounds here. Definitely want to micro this a little bit better. Kill those eagles. Pushing this castle over here. That castle is going to go down in no time. And you definitely want to put those ramps in front. You can try and repair this all you want, but there's simply too many trebs there. That castle is now down. Bye. The PC is now down. Slow push. And there's just no army behind this. There's just siege here. Just siege. Try to repair that. That's going to go down. Be way more eagles in the front here. Uh, there are some arps just being chucked away. Are, are the rams attacking eagles? That's hilarious. Trying to pull those back. And pretty even. I mean, this is the point where you kind of reach pop cap and you don't really know uh, what to do or how to do things. Looks like gold is being mined over here. That's very nice. Stone's being mined over here. Meanwhile, blue is mining stone over here. Both players have done a good job expanding. But no real main fight has occurred. I think definitely eco raids at this point could be absolutely devastating. If you've got like 10 or 15 eagles in the back here, that would wreck. Uh, and the same over here. I mean, everything is over, over chopped. So getting eagles in at this point, very, very easy to do. But both players still focus on this main fight. It's going to get another castle up, which could easily go down to these trebs. I like how these movies has kept these five trebs alive. That might actually win him the game in the long run here. It's trying to build a archery range underneath that treb. Ooh, and that castle, wow! That was 600 stone down the Drano. Is it <laughs> just builds another one. Who cares? Who cares? Slowly making headway here. Uh, but definitely a waste of stone for sure. And blue could also be building some more castles. I think you kind of put some castles over your eco, uh, blanket it a little bit, uh, and that should definitely help that out. I think we might actually get to a situation where we are all out of gold here. Two Minutes Movies is finally getting his uh, elite tech. Um, which I actually don't know what that is for my so let's take a quick look. <laughs> Skirmishers have plus one attack, plus one range. Oh yeah, that's actually pretty good. And then the uh, Gallon Wars obviously the attack for the Eagles, which absolutely shreds. So. We're missing some attack upgrades for too many movies over here, whereas uh, blue, I think, is only missing one at the moment. 
it is interesting for me to learn other sieves a little bit better. I'm still a little bit noob when it comes down to knowing every single unique tech from every single sieve. So if you see me during my vids uh, looking at some of the techs, that's why. I'm a noob. Uh, but I, I, I do really love just unique strategies and seeing what's going on. And it doesn't look like uh, Too Many Movies is doing too much of that today. But definitely putting up a fight. I think this is a very even battle. And that castle is going to go down. The trap might be taken out by this eagle. Oh no! Okay, he double clicked his eagles. Definitely didn't want to double click that one eagle. Uh, this trap is going to make it out alive. And now, just run into the eco. Just run in. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's any good. Who's the Smurfy boy? Oh, reverse. He pulled the Uno. I thought this game was getting a little boring to be honest with you, but Gibetto 10 just pulled out of his pocket the Uno reverse card. Absolute Uno reverse on too many smoothies. Throws the towel in the ring and that is game. Wow, I like the Uno reverse card Right at the end there, he's like, no, you're the smurf. <laughs> Let's take a quick look at those stats. Pretty even overall, uh, I would say, but I think it was definitely the gold that did it for Too Many Smoothies. Yeah, he did have about 3,500 more gold there. Uh, food, wood, and stone more collected, uh, but not by a huge margin. The stone that is... Food, there's about 6,000 difference, and sorry, food, there's about a 4,000 difference, and wood, uh, about a 6,000 difference there. Society, mm, some relic gold there in favor of Too Many Smoothies as well. Got three of those. Villager Hyde, you better add a little bit more. And yeah, that's, that's where the breaking point was. There was no more gold for Eagle Warriors. And as soon as that happened, it was G, G, no, re. This man arms in the beginning did do some work, but it looked like uh, Too Many Smoothies was just a slightly faster player. And with that, I want to say, if your opponent is using a strategy on you, don't forget to just take out your Uno reverse card and reverse their strategy on them. If your opponent calls you a Smurf, Smurf him right back.